Go Local Live, we are going to talk to Nancy and Melissa, and they are putting on an art show called We Rise Wickford. So I'd like to introduce them. I think they're just around the corner. Hi, ladies. Hello. Hi, you? come on in. Well, thank you. Oh. So I'm Nancy. Hi, Nancy and Melissa. Hi. So good to see you. Okay, I can. you can scoot over just a little bit more, and you okay. have some of your art pieces. You can we scoot over do. to me Great. as well. We'll all be friends. All right. How are you, ladies? Good. Great. Thank good, you. Good, good. So good to see you. Thank you so much for coming. So let's talk a little bit about your art show, and, and if you want to hold up your, sure. your art to the camera a little bit. That's just the camera right there. Right it's here. It's so small, <laughs> Sorry. right? I know. How is that? I missed it. I know. It's <laughs> nice because it's so tiny, right? Yeah. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the show and just kind of how you guys got it started. Yeah. Well, it kind of started because we got involved with the Women's March on Washington, which was on January 21st. And there were so many great posters and artwork and banners and stuff. We kind of decided when we came back to Rhode Island that we wanted to share a lot of them with people who didn't get a chance to go to D.C. or to go to the Providence Rally at the State House. And there was a great space in Wickford that came open, and the woman who owned the space offered it to us and said, yeah, yeah, let's do something around protest art. It'll be great. That's really neat. Yeah. So where are you getting this from? And you'll have and <laughs> all over yeah yeah isn't that the people truth? are reaching out to us since yeah. since we announced the show absolutely so it's um people that are, that were here in providence at the march and then certainly the people that went down to dc um that we were affiliated with right just reached out so it's an ongoing thing daily and literally we put it out on social media and people were like oh i kept my poster oh really? i got a banner you know do you want it can i drop it off and so yeah, we're collecting, and then there's pieces that have been inspired, um, artists who've come back from the event and were just completely inspired by what they experienced, and they started creating artwork around the march. Wow. So we have sculptures, and we have all kinds of paintings, and yeah, it's, and it's really interesting how people have interpreted the whole movement. Yeah. Do you feel like, um, how has this made you feel? encouraged <laughs> I mean empowered yeah uh, it, yeah it, and united a lot of women yeah. that even we live in a small village in Wickford and in just in the last few weeks since we got back from DC I feel I've connected with people that I didn't know in town which is shocking to me because I'm out there a lot and it's yeah. a small village and you know I've been around in town for a long time but it's just been really interesting and to see people get engaged that might not otherwise be out there. Right. I think a lot of it is like the people who we saw on the ground for the events on the 21st of January. A lot of people who were never activated before or, you know, instead of sitting at home and just clicking and sharing, they've literally got And mean out. faces on Facebook. Yeah, exactly. You know, enough with staying on, on Facebook and just getting frustrated to get out there and interact in these huddles that have come as a result of the Women's March. Yeah. I think that, you know, those next steps have been really important. Yeah, so people in their own communities are, are, are starting their own groups from the Women's March uh, network now, and they're activating locally about local politics and local issues, and mm -hmm. so everybody is still staying connected throughout the whole state and through the country, but it's getting more grassroots on the ground in your community. and they're really energized to actually become a part of the process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's multifaceted. It's not yeah. one issue. Right. These are human, broad human rights is issues that we all sort of have our uh, area that we sort of may, may look at more closely and, and identify with. Right. But they all sort of come together. Yeah. And do you feel like with the show, it's about art, it's about politics, it's about both, it's about neither? It's about everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Everybody's got something near and dear to their heart. So I think that's been the really interesting part about the artwork around protest or rallying is that people have this, it's kind of like Twitter, you've got this yeah. big of a space to say something. Yeah. Um, and the way that people have interpreted it is really clever people are very very clever don't you think oh absolutely yeah. yeah creativity comes out and people's sense of humor and <laughs> you just and we saw it at the march in yeah. dc i was the whole time just looking around at the artwork and some of it was very basic and some of it you really had to look at and say 
oh, okay, now I get it. Right. So there was some deep meaning stuff and then just stuff that made you laugh out loud. I mean, all day. That's Absolutely. all I did was walk around and I had my camera. I took a ton of pictures. And so it was really inspiring. Yeah. Is there anything that you're not taking? Anything that you're turning away? No. No. This isn't about censorship mm -mm. at all. Um, it's absolutely people get an opportunity to have their voices heard, which is, I think, the strength of the project. You know, you don't have to agree with everything, but mm -mm. art's supposed to provoke, right? You know, it starts conversations, and that's where change happens, is when you're standing in a gallery and you're looking at something and you're interpreting it one way and the person standing next to you is probably interpreting it completely different. And when you can get that dialogue started, um, I think that's really powerful, and that's what I think that's what art should do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, so we have prints like this that were done by RISD grad Shepard Ferry, who actually um, had three pieces that were downloadable and free on amplifier.com. Oh. So, I mean, this, and I think this is how art really inspires is you could download these the day before the inauguration and because you weren't allowed to bring posters to the inauguration he raised the money through crowdsourcing wow, really? to be able to have full page ads in the New York Times and the Washington Posts and you could go to the back page and literally just rip the back page wow. off and stick it in your pocket if you were going to the inauguration and then you could hold them up because they weren't on poster board or anything so oh. art going out to the masses. Wow. They put, I think, 60,000 free copies on the corners of streets in D.C. the day before the inauguration so people could just pick them up and rip out the pages. And Yeah, I mean, that's how, how art works. So at the march, people had downloaded these at home and then printed them out, put them on posters or whatever, and you saw these all over, and they were mm -hmm. all interpreted differently, which was so great. I didn't yeah. realize that was a RISD person. Yeah, I'm Shepard Ferry. I have to get in touch with them. Absolutely. Yeah. I think he's, he's in, in LA. LA. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. So they had, um, he did pieces and then there were two women. They, they actually had a competition for artwork and they ended up choosing three different artists and he was one of them. But the nice part is, is there's, I think they're still all out on amplifier.com really and you neat. can download, I think there's like 18 pieces total. Yeah. And I think just, and what you ladies have touched on is the fact that it inspires people in different ways to do different things and it touches people in different ways no matter right. what side of any issue you're on it can mm -hmm. really bring people yeah. together and and provoke different thoughts and feelings absolutely and I mean isn't that what like democracy is supposed to be about exactly you know you're supposed to be able to say what you want and not everybody agrees and that's I think that's the beautiful thing about living in this country is like you're entitled to your opinion you know and you express it the way that you feel comfortable with and Art's one of the wonderful ways that people express themselves. Yeah. Do you have any, uh, and what, what I've seen from the marches is that people of all ages, from all places, have Absolutely. been involved in this. Do you have any people who've um, turned in entries, like young people? Oh, one of my favorite ones that I saw was a little girl who was a year old who had a piece of cardboard that she had just scribbled with crayon, holding it up. And it's like, okay, <laughs> That's cool. she needs to tell you something, and this yeah. is what it is, you know. So, yeah, it's been really interesting. One of my favorites is the um, a, an older woman who was in a wheelchair, and she said, well, now you've pissed Grandma off. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, yeah, well, that works. Yeah, I also saw in D.C., uh, you know it's bad when librarians are marching. Yeah. Yeah. So you just, you just saw all of such a variety of stuff that you just... It took you by surprise, right. but it was uh, right. all inspiring. And then inspiring. there were puppets, and I mean, it, it was crazy the way the people interpreted stuff. It was very clever. And are you inviting people on from all areas to come visit? You oh, know, absolutely. people who might not agree with this kind of thing? Absolutely. I mean, it's it's completely inclusive. You have an opportunity to, if you went to a march or participated, to you know submit your artwork. Um, but we want everybody to come into this space because we want to have dialogue. I mean, art should do that. It should be a community space. And the woman who's let us use the, the space, you know, it's come into the community and, and see what's going on. I think that's one of the most powerful things about it, don't you? Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Just, have, just having everybody there and saying, well, let's have a dialogue. Mm -hmm. that, that's what we should be doing. Have you had any, have you had any backlash or is any, any negative comments? Oh, well, you know, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Yeah. My physics teacher would be so there proud. There you go. So proud. But, but, yeah, I mean, we get, we get 
feedback about everything all all of the time but I look at it as an opportunity to have a discussion with somebody yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it works. For the most part, it's been positive. Oh, yeah. The community has been amazing. Mm -hmm. And you got to remember, too, North Kingstown is kind of a polarized environment. Yeah, it is homogenized. Yeah, yeah. so um, the comfort zone might not be entirely there, but the, the feedback we've gotten is, oh, wow, okay, this is going to be interesting. And we have kind of a neutral ground with this basic open space of this blank gallery that we're just, it's a pop-up for the weekend. So, you know, I think people will, at least they can come through. They may not agree with it all. Right. And that's okay. And that that's that's the whole, what we're trying to get across, right. is that you may not be entirely comfortable with everything you see, but hopefully you'll take something from it. And that's what art is. Anytime, you know, yep. it's going to inspire people to think about things. And that's, that's really the goal of the show. And because it's a pop-up, what happens after? Well, we've had some inquiries from other places around Rhode Island, yeah. other galleries, and you go, if you want to speak to that. Sure, we've, cool. had, we've had a couple of galleries contact us who saw on Facebook that we were pasting the event, and um, they were like, that's such a great idea, and we were thinking about something like that, but if you've already curated a bunch of the art, could we add your art? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that in Rhode Island and in Connecticut, we have one in Massachusetts, so... It's, I think people are getting the whole message and, and getting the idea of, you know, kind of a people's project, which mm -hmm. is great. I mean, this one... I think we can talk about Seth. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, perfect. Yeah. Um, Seth Peterson, who's a local... Jacobson. Jacobson, yeah. excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, Seth Jacobson, he reached out, and he is doing a project and doing images that are based on sort of iconic figures. So this piece... He, he found a young woman who's a pharmacy student at URI who is uh, Muslim, and he uh, basically did a, a free form, uh, a new photograph of this image with her oh, as wow. the subject. Right. When I spoke to him the other day, he was coming up to Providence to talk to someone. He's doing someone dressed as Rosie the Riveter. So yeah. he's doing iconic faces of women I and I a, just di a diverse group of people. Yeah. And so that, that's going to be a project that he's taken It's interesting on. how this piece has uh, been inspiration because we'll have not only Seth's photograph, um, we also have a woman who has painted in oil and kind of done her interpretation oh, of a woman that. in the hijab. Yeah, so it's, and there's a doll that's, that's also kind of interpreted from this. So it's interesting how people have used different mediums and are inspired by someone else's art which is a neat thing to see. And continuing to move it forward. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Well, thank you, ladies, so much. Thank um, you. We have Nancy and Melissa, and the event is this fr th Thursday and Friday? Friday, Friday, and Friday, Friday Saturday. Sorry, Friday and Saturday. 24th and 25th. There we go. And it's at Avis Art Gallery at 1 West Main Street in Wickford, and 11 to 5 both days, right? right? correct. And then possibly continuing throughout Rhode Island, where but you'll let me know. Yeah, we're hoping. Oh, absolutely. We're hoping this goes elsewhere yeah. and that more people get engaged. And if they have artwork, posters, yeah. reach out. Yeah. Because I know some people kind of threw them away. <laughs> yeah. But a lot of people kept them. So if you have them and you're proud of it and you want to share it, that's what we're looking for. Yeah. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank I you. appreciate it. Uh, very creative, and I always love looking at signs and posters. Yeah. Yes. And so appreciate it. And if you need more information, we'll have it on Go Local. Uh, prop. So thank you so much. I appreciate Thanks, it. Thank you so it was much. Nice being here, Mike. Thank, thank you, you so nice much for coming in. Thank you. All right.